All right, Christ is all, opening quotes, um, whereby we need read, ye perceive my understanding in the mystery of Christ, Ephesians 3, 4. So I use that opening quote in the book because, as Paul said, when you read what he wrote, you would perceive his understanding in the mystery of Christ. So too, if you'll read uh, the book that I wrote, then all you're doing is perceiving my understanding in the mystery of Christ. That's what this book is about. There is a mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And uh, that's what I'm writing about in this book. And so when you read it, you're just perceiving my understanding. I'm not trying to teach you anything. I'm not trying to preach to you anything. I'm not trying to uh, tell you how it is or how it isn't. Uh, all I'm doing is putting in print uh, my understanding of Christ, especially in this spiritual uh, altitude of understanding. And uh, so when you read this book, you're just perceiving my understanding in the mystery of Christ. The next opening quote in here uh, is from the book, and this quote is... Uh, the truth that you are in the Christ of God is your eternal purpose. So the truth that you are, which actually is in Christ, in God, because you died and your life is hid with Christ in God. So the truth that you are in Christ, which is in God, is your eternal purpose. So you have a purpose, you have an eternal purpose, which goes uh, far beyond any... Uh, material purpose that you may have for your uh, individual life and, and according to your eternal purpose it is uh, based upon the truth that you are in spirit the truth that you are in Christ because you have a truth in Christ you uh, have a truth about you that is a spiritual truth which is an above truth above knowledge an epinosis of the truth and uh, that truth of you in spirit the truth that you are in Christ is your eternal purpose. That, uh, for me, I also state that is that is truth from the most holy place. It's truth from God's perspective. This is the way uh, God views us. It's the way he views all of his creation. When uh, God purposed and declared a creation, uh, nothing has changed in his purpose or his declaration. And we are uh, growing up into the truth of God's purpose. We're awakening to the truth of God's purpose. We're ascending in the truth of God's purpose. There's uh, many different ways you can state that. They all speak of the same uh, uh, drive in our lives to pursue God. It's the calling uh, that calls into the deep of us. It's the deep calling into the deep. And so we uh, that uh, are tuning our ears to that, right? Uh, we're pursuing that. Uh, we're driven to know that. You know, there's a drive uh, that you must have. You, you can't do this on your own. You will become faint-hearted and give up uh, probably fairly quickly if you don't have a deep inner drive to uh, pursue this avenue of awareness. And so... Uh, the deep calling into the deep of you, the spirit calling to the spirit, the reality of Christ uh, within you is uh, trying to break forth, uh, to break down this outer shell of uh, humanhood, of materiality that we have. And, uh, and in that breaking away of, uh, of materiality of the natural man, as the scripture speaks about, uh, Paul says, The natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, uh, neither can he know them. It's, it's a true fact. The natural man, the man uh, of the flesh, the man that has his mind uh, bound upon the earth, can't know the things of God. And to pursue them would be utter nonsense for him because he can neither know them. Uh, because uh, Paul also states they must be spiritually discerned. And that's important to understand. And I may uh, get into that scripture here after a bit. Uh, I know I will at some point. But there has to be spiritual discernment. There has to be spiritual understanding. We have to compare spiritual things with spiritual. 
We do not compare the natural and the spiritual, other than and maybe allegorical. And so we uh, look to the Spirit for the truth. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he was speaking about the true reality of his spiritual identity. And, uh, and God speaks that over us as well, that there is a spiritual identity uh, within us, which we call Christ. And there is Christ Jesus the head and the Christ body that we are all a part of. And uh, Jesus is the uh, one who holds the preeminence in that many-membered man, that uh, manifestation of God in the earth. And so uh, we look to that head and uh, uh, we give uh, lordship to the headship of Christ in our lives. And because that is where we find our true identity. We will not find it in our natural selves. We will not find it in our ego. We will not uh, find it in our materiality. Uh, all those things are the distractions or the uh, what uh, people would call the, uh, the illusionary facts before you. Uh, it, it's not the truth as it is in Christ. Therefore, it is not truth. So it, uh, the facts aren't always truth. The facts can be presented and people can be convicted of a crime based upon facts but then uh, lo and behold all of a sudden uh, new information comes to light and we're in a new enlightenment comes and a truth is presented and it dispels all the so-called facts about you and how you are liberated and set free and that's what the truth of spirit does it liberates you and sets you free from the facts of this world system because my kingdom, the kingdom of Christ, is not of this world, uh, the world system of man. And so where we place our eyes and what uh, we have a vision of, what we are beholding, that vision and that beholding uh, that we are placing before us, that we are fixing ourselves upon, and that is what's going to have an effect in our lives. And it, uh, it's going to tell us uh, who we are, uh, whether we... Uh, think it is or not uh, subconsciously we're being told all the time who we are and we're being told that we are just a natural people of this earth and uh, the spirit would tell us otherwise so we must learn to turn to the spirit of truth and uh, the holy spirit of uh, that uh, was sent whose primary purpose is to take what is christ and show it unto us and so uh, let's open ourselves to that reality and that possibility that uh, nothing is impossible to them who believe.